Let's get out to the Forte Elements phone line and welcome in our next guest. Over the weekend, you saw a picture on social media of a man, uh, and uh, he was pointing at a, a Y insignia. And that person repping the Y was none other than Terrell Owens. I want to welcome in a huge BYU fan, a, a BYU alum, Steve Carlston. He's on the line. He was the individual that stood next to Terrell Owens. He was a part of his uh, his basketball team. Apparently, he's been playing pickup basketball with a bunch of f- former NBA, former NFL players in San Diego. Let's welcome in Steve. Steve, how you living, man? I'm living the large, man. Living, uh, living the dream. I love it, dude. Uh, so, I mean, I get this picture. And obviously, it, it comes from you. And I'm like, wait, wait what, what's going on? I didn't know you hooped with Terrell Owens. I didn't know you you hooped with all these former um, great athletes. Can you tell us a little bit of the backstory behind this? Yeah, it's actually in Los Angeles, down in a place called Marina Del Rey. And uh, this really great guy has a backyard court down in Marina Del Rey, so it's not a cheap date. And it's sort of a private run. And if you get invited, you get to come. And I've kind of run around the basketball circles for a long time, so I know a lot of the guys. And even though I'm the oldest guy by 20 years, uh, you know, I guess I'm the mascot now. They'll invite me down, and, and I get a good run in, and it's a lot of fun. And every once in a while, you get somebody like Jalen Rose that shows up. And a couple of weeks ago, I was playing, and T.O.'s there, and I get put on the same team. And just like any pickup game, your team wins, you're on. If you lose, you sit out. In this particular game, you only have 15 guys that are invited. So there's three teams rotating in and out. So I got to play with T.O. a couple of weeks ago. And um, so then I started following him, and I noticed that he was up in Utah this week. And I was kind of like, what's he doing in Utah? And um, he just got elected to the Hall of Fame. And so he was up getting his bust made, um, you know, the, the bronze bust of, yeah. uh, of, of T.O. And so <clears throat> as I looked at it, it's a former BYU football player that played with Vice Akahima, a guy named Blair Buswell, who does most of the busts for the NFL Hall of Fame. I think because there's so many, sometimes he has to farm some of it out. For, but for the most part, he's the go-to guy right there in, in Salt Lake. So I saw that, didn't think anything about it. And then I go to the game on Saturday, and there's T.O. wearing a Y shirt. And I'm like, dude, what are you repping the Y? And he walked right, walked right up, and I go, why are you repping the Y? And he goes, oh, I was up there this week. And I go, did you go down to BYU? I go, did you get to walk around the campus, the greatest campus on the planet? And he goes, no. He says, my buddy Chad Lewis surprised me and showed up at Blair's studio with uh, Reno Mahi. And I'm like, wow. And he goes, and he gave me some swag, so I'm repping. I Man, love I said, it. That's it looks great. great on you. I said, why didn't you go to college? I mean, you would have looked good <laughs> in the blue and white. And so we were jagging back and forth a little bit, but then he went on to tell me that uh, Chad Lewis was one of his favorite teammates, and he just loves Chad Lewis, and it was, he hadn't seen him in a long time, so it was a big reunion, and Reno meant a great deal to him as well, and it was really a fun conversation. Steve Carlston, President and General Manager of NBC4 in Southern California here on ESPN 960. He uh, was able to take a picture and ball out with uh, Dur- uh, Terrell Owens, and he was repping the Y, uh, giving the, the the backstory of all these uh, these occurrences. And, uh, you know, he has also played, T.O. played with Steve Young. He played with a lot of former BYU greats. Um, did he say anything about playing with the 49ers and, mm-hmm. and Steve Young and what that experience was like? Yeah, he said that his favorite two players that he played with were both Chad and Steve Young. He loved Steve Young. I said, what was he like in the film room? He goes, you know what? He listened, and we had a great relationship. He goes, if I had gotten to play with Steve Young my entire career, I would have been twice the player. And he said it was too bad because the third year that he was with Steve Young, he got that massive concussion that kind of got him, you know, the end of his football career. But he said Steve Young was uh, a great guy and just fantastic. He said very accepting of T.O.'s comments, which wasn't always the case in the locker room. Although Chad even, I think you know Chad, and he'll tell you that mm-hmm. T.O. was a great, a great teammate, just a bad reputation with the press for being so honest to people. Yeah, we. I love T.O. Um, some people don't, but uh, it's okay. You, you can have uh, kind of a love-hate relationship with those uh, premier players. We've got Steve Carlson on with us here, Cougar Sports, ESPN 960, talking Terrell Owens and him repping the Y over the weekend. Do you know of any other affiliations that Terrell has with either BYU or the LDS faith? Um, 
No, Chad could probably tell you some stories. I did hear a story that, um, and you'll have to check this and confirm it with Reno, but I heard this from Vice Akahima, who's a friend of mine and also worked for the same company that I work for, but over in Philadelphia. He said that uh, Reno was uh, invited to uh, a party for Terrell's birthday, and it was at a nightclub, and so, you know, whatever that might look like. And uh, Reno didn't know what to take the guy that has everything. So he took him a Book of Mormon. <laughs> and so uh, he delivered that to him and gave it to him at, as a Christmas, as a birthday gift. Oh, I love it. Uh, we got Steve Carlson here on ESPN 960, President and General Manager of NBC4 here in Southern California. You know, just to kind of reflect on this 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 pickup game that you're able to be a part of uh, i don't know uh you know how did you get invited to this and and who are some of the the players that you've you've seen there and played with and played against well not always there but around southern california i've played with uh, ac green gilbert arenas mitch richmond don mclean um alfred payton a couple years ago he's the guy with the funny haircut that was at orlando now in the suns Bo Kimball, Tracy Murray, uh, Pooh Richardson. I just played in the Celebrity Game three years ago with Corey Maggette, and on that team was also the actor Josh Dumel, so that was a fun game to be a part of. And then Baron Davis, I played with Baron at a game close to my office. Um, and then from an NFL standpoint, I play a lot with Clay Matthews' dad, uh, Clay the second, And then uh, Clay Jr. was on my um junior basketball team when my son was playing you know back in the AAU days they were playing on the same team together so it's kind of fun you know just get to play with a lot of guys and I'm not sure how we got invited to this down in LA if you're in the hoop kind of world hanging on and just having fun meeting guys and you're part of the Southern California hoop fraternity I get invited to games you know they say hey come join this one or go do that one and hey you might have fun here so that's how I got invited to that game it's because you can still stroke it from uh, the corner and from the wing <laughs> Um, well, you know, you got to have one skill left when you're 150. So, <laughs> Steve. I do got to tell you this one. I got to tell you one story about T.O., just so the BYU fans will appreciate him a little bit. Uh, you know, when you're on the court, there's a lot of stuff that's said and done, and, you know, sometimes you want to get out of the line and uh, kind of wash yourself off from some of the comments that either have been made or you might have slipped out. And um, there was a moment when I was running by T.O. when he got fouled and could have easily been a time to drop a swear word. And he didn't. He just said something. He didn't say uh, the famous uh, Utah word, oh, fetch, but he said something like that. And I was like, well, I would have expected T.O. to maybe say something a little bit more harsh. And then that happened again. And the two times I've played, he's never said a bad word where a lot of guys on the court may have. And I was like, well, that's really impressive. And um, and uh, he just said, I do. That's just not part of who I am. So. Who's the best uh, former football player that you played against on the on the on the on the hardwood? Oh, uh, geez, it's got to be uh, T.O. I threw him a pass on Saturday. I was underneath the basket, and he was about half court, and I threw it. And I thought to myself, oh, no, I overthrew him. And he chased it down, laid it up and in, and I held my hands in the touchdown position. I said, and yelled out, Steve Young's back. <laughs> and it was back. He comes by and gives me a high five, and he goes, nice pass, Steve. And I, I go, Steve Young to you, and he you know, gave me knuckles. It was fun. Well, nice, Steve. We appreciate you hopping on with us and telling us uh, that that backstory regarding uh, T.O. repping the Y. I had no idea he had so many connections with the BYU alums, and uh, appreciate you hopping on and enriching our lives with that story. Well, yeah, just know that uh, his his personal persona is very different than that in the press. He is a really great guy, loves the Y, and and by the way, he also had Andy Reid as a coach. Yeah, and so. And even though Andy was the one who finally released him, he still has a very, very close relationship with Andy. And so anybody that has touched the Y in any way, he's very close to. we got to get him out to a game, get him onto the field, so uh, and get him some more BYU swag. Steve Carlston. Uh, the, uh, uh, by, by, by the way, if you want him on your air, yes, just let me know. I know his publicist, and we can make that happen, and I bet we can get him to a game. I can get him up there. We would love to have him on the air. So if you can help facilitate that, uh, we would love that this week. And, and, and then make, he can tell it from uh, from his vantage point. And yeah, tell there's it. a lot of uh, infamy going around with that BYU shirt. He's become very famous on BYU Twitter and in BYU <laughs> chat rooms and all that kind of stuff. Indeed. Yeah, everyone, I, everyone's I, I, been asking whether or not – so if he – came out and tried out for BYU football right now whether or not he would be the best wide receiver on the team and I don't By think there's any miles yeah <laughs> he would still be the best wide receiver at 44 years old 
he'd be he'd be the best that anybody faced in uh, college. He is amazing. Steve, and, and I'm not. Yeah, I'm just go saying ahead. that you know, at one point he took off the BYU shirt, and I said. Oh, my, the guy hasn't changed a bit. Could catch passes right now. Yeah, he's an elite athlete uh, for sure. Steve Carlston, president, general manager. Reminds me a lot of a young Ben Criddle, by the way. Yeah, I don't know about that. (laughs) (laughs) That's a a little far-fetched if you ask me, but I appreciate the love. Yeah, same packs. I got a really nice set of packs. But Steve Carlson, President, General Manager, <laughs> NBC4 in Southern California, we salute you. Thank you for joining us. It's a fantastic interview. We appreciate you so much. Thank you, guys. Bye.